Alright, it is Saturday, February 27th, and finally I am out camping again. The Jeep has actually been sitting in my girlfriend's driveway practically since the last time I camped, I think, which was in November, other than some uh, short runs here and there. So, it is supposed to get up to about 60 today and 75 tomorrow, so the first really nice weekend we've had in a while. Up front is Stan and his Jeep Cherokee, and with him is Manny. So, Manny was with me on the Continental Divide trip that I filmed, and he is Jeepless. His Wrangler is being worked on with some really nice upgrades. He's putting new axles in it, and that includes a Dana 44. He's regearing, and he's also putting in an e-locker so some things that he could really use for overlanding especially since he goes out a lot on his own but I haven't really seen him since the Continental Divide trip last year so it'd be great to catch up and hear about his Michigan trip that he made uh, solo so we are gonna see if these locations that we're eyeing are open and hopefully we're not the or we are kind of the only ones that have thought about coming out here around two or three on a Saturday to grab a camp spot. We'll see how that goes. But for now, we'll just focus on getting our spot and then we'll set up camp. So we're coming up here on a spot that we stayed at last time and it looks to be completely empty. So I just need to find out from Stan is this where we want to stay. Alright, so since we need to find a flat spot for Manny, we are going to park at the other one right across the way here. So I forgot about that since he's in a tent. He needs to have a nice flat location and looks like the place needs to be cleaned up a little bit which is fine we'll do some cleaning but uh, yeah it looks like right around the corner here is going to be home yeah somebody left a grill anyway other than that it doesn't look too bad and this is home for the night Okay, we are all set up. A couple hours later, we've been just chilling around the fire. The bugs are actually really bad here in February. So we had to get a fire going, a lot of smoke going. We've got the tarp in the back to pull that smoke away. Of course, it's not working right now with the camera on, but it was working earlier. So there's Manny, and there is his coffin tent. So we put him out front, so if anybody wants to get somebody, we're going to get him first, and we'll be okay in the Jeeps. So I actually had to put the netting up because of the bugs. I didn't want the bugs to get in. They've seemed to die down since the sun has started to go down, and it did get a lot cooler. But we've got plenty of wood and drink. We're going to be setting up dinner soon. We've got steaks. Manny's probably got some kind of organic thing going on. Oh no, it's, it's a knorr. Here you go. Spanish rice, All right, knorr. side dish. Oh yeah. Nice. Just like on the trail. All right, go. Here's your dinner. And uh, Stan picked us up some steaks. Yep. So that's going to work out really well. But right now I'm working on some uh, drone footage as well as I told this company that sent me this light. It's a neck light that I would do a few clips for a commercial for them. I'm not doing a review on it, but it's a rechargeable light. So you just hook it up, a USB charge, and then it's got these nice lights on the end. So you can use that instead of a headlamp. So I'm gonna make a few clips here. That's why the tripod's set up. But other than that, we are just gonna enjoy a nice night by the cot fire. It's gonna be about, I don't know, 50 degrees tonight before it warms up tomorrow. So. That's everything. Of course, Stan sleeps inside his Jeep. He's got a new mattress. And then I've got my setup. And I really haven't touched this since the last time we were here. But I am kind of anxious to sleep in the Jeep again. I love it. I love that bed. And I sleep really well in it. So, But uh, we've got even wet wood sitting on top so that it creates a lot of smoke to keep the bugs away. And it's working. But we've got that 
grill over there that we were looking at maybe using, but it's too far gone. There are a few grates over there that we might actually use to put the pans on though. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow when we make breakfast or when we start with steaks. So that's probably going to be a lot of what's it for the evening. I'll show a little bit of the cooking since I know some people like that. But for now, it's just getting set up. Uh, we're good. I think we're good. good. Oh, this thing looks so good. It's almost like a Chinese stir fry going on there. <laughs> All right, so stand cooked dinner. Got a little bit of a sear on there, but I don't think with how little we cooked it on the other side that it's going to be too bad. So I'll eat it regardless. And then there's Manny's side. Oh, delicious. It actually smells really good. I love those Look sides. That in slow mo. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it got pretty cool out. Next up, we'll be sitting by the fire, catching up on what everybody's done. But for now, it is dinner time.
is about nine o'clock, maybe 9.30. Just getting coffee going. Everybody slept in a little late, even Manny in his coffin tent. So had a few drops come down. It did get a little bit wet. That was kind of unexpected. So stuff is wet. I was starting some MRE or was it Taster's Choice coffee and then Stan told me he was making me some French press coffee. So that's going to be nice. So I'll follow up with mine if I want another cup and then we'll make some eggs. It was great sleeping in the back of the Jeep again. Slept great. And even though it was pretty chilly at night, once I crawl back in here, it is warming up pretty quick. So woke up very comfortable. So we got the fire going and not a whole lot of wood left. We went through both containers, but we were up to 1.30 in the morning. So yeah, we went through quite a bit of wood and it got quite chilly though, about probably in the upper 40s. So anyway, it, as you can see, is cloudy and very mild. We've had a few people go through on the bike path and a couple of others walking, but overall, really nice day. Barely need a sweater. So we're gonna finish up making breakfast, make eggs and whatever else we got, and then pack up and head out of here. All packed up and ready to go. Fire's out, cleaner than we found it. And now it's just a uh, matter of getting home. So great to be out. We're gonna have to do this a lot more yeah. with the weather getting better. Unfortunately, the bugs are already out in February. So uh, yeah, that could be an interesting spring and summer, but while the weather is mild, might as well come out as often as we can. So hopefully we'll be back here soon. All right, back home and just taking a few things out of the Jeep. Most of the stuff stays in there for the next trip. And just to answer a couple of questions that might come up, I do not really know what I'm doing this year. I don't know what travel I'm doing. I know I probably won't do a really long trip just because of COVID and the saturation of the camp places and so many people being out there. Uh, with the Canadian border being closed, that's also not an option for me. So I'm just not sure yet. I'm kind of playing it by ear. The three of us were talking about doing some quick trips here and there, Tennessee to the coast uh, here in North Carolina and things like that. Uh, trying to work around Stan's vacation schedule because he's the only one out of the three of us that has a full-time job now. Uh, so other than that, Manny and I are also talking about maybe doing something with Wyatt from Wyatt One Able and seeing if we can't get to Tennessee and find some interesting places to go and camp and just kind of do a little overlanding. But that's all up in the air. We need to have that come together quick because the heat is gonna to start to set in here quick in North Carolina. So just play that by ear and see what happens. But as of right now, I have no definitive long-term plans, although I'd love to have one. It just doesn't make sense at this point in time with so many people out there trying to find those great spots so for that reason we'll just see how it goes also since i've done a few reviews and the last video actually on this channel was for the truck mall lights i do actually still have those installed so haven't had a whole lot of real life experience with them yet because i haven't had the jeep out all that often but those are going to stay in and i'm going to see how they go last night uh, i did turn them on in the woods and they're quite bright they're really nice so those are there my truck light lights are actually on my other jeep so these are going to definitely get a lot of use i did a review on the 12 inch ox beam and that's still holding up really well it's dirty but it's not it's not scratched or anything like that it's just i don't clean my jeep very often um, but that is holding up really well uh, you can see that the aluminum it there aren't a whole lot of chips i did the continental divide behind manny with this thing and for those that watched that uh that episode or those episodes you saw how much crap ended up coming at my jeep and dust and everything else and the aluminum housing's done really well the light still works really well so i'm very happy with that so uh, that's another thing and then i did the step that goes into uh, the door latch here and I actually keep that right here at the ready. I do really like this thing. It works out well. It uh, gets me a lot higher up on the Jeep. 
so that I can reach over from the one side to the other without having to get up on the wheel or inside the door jam uh, on each side for doing certain things. So that comes in very handy. The Trek Pal Power Pack, I keep that right here all the time. Uh, I charge it on the go and this light uh, plug here is for my one of my sets of my overhead lights. So that way I can just plug it in and then this cord here is for charging it and that way it just stays there all the time. It's been through so much dust and dirt and grime being in that location and this little flap right here that's one of the few power packs that has that um, actually has helped well in keeping that area clean. So that I use, I have two of them and I use that constantly. Uh, and then the other one was a Foxpeed that I reviewed, not, not that, uh, but that I actually have in my truck. Uh, so I've got a V8 in the truck and the Fox Speed seem to work really well on that. So that power pack is not utilized every day, but it's at the ready. I do actually use that inside my vehicle. So I think that's most of the reviews that I've done. So, you know, I don't just do the reviews. I actually use the product. And so far, I'm really happy with all those products. A couple of things I've mentioned in the past that I still swear by. I haven't done reviews on them, but are my Go Treads. I have a pair of those. I just used those to level my Jeep last night. And the Perfect Bungees. I, I, that makes my life so much easier. Love that product. Uh, on the side to make money I scrap and pick up scrap and dumpster dive and stuff like that for fun And I use them to tie down scrap and tie down other things on my truck almost every day So perfect bungee bungee cords absolute must for I think most people that travel and use bungee cords or in your everyday life They're amazing product and again the go treads are awesome. So Appreciate you watching. Sorry. It wasn't a whole lot of video of us camping, but we did a lot of talking a lot of catching up and it was a great night we actually didn't go to bed till almost two o'clock in the morning because we were talking so much and just trying to catch up because we haven't got together at all recently uh, for those of you that might be interested in my other channel um, I dumpster dive for fun and in industrial dump dumpsters and I do house calls and pick up scrap and that's how I'm making my money right now other than uh, doing some other things on the side. Uh, but that is keeping me super busy. So when I'm grounded at home, I'm utilizing my truck most of the time and I'm not utilizing the Jeep. But uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. Talk to you later.